And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kirk Williamson, coming to you from Tri-Cities Coliseum, where tonight the Tri-City Americans try to make it two in a row. A dramatic win last Wednesday night over the Seattle Thunderbirds, a game in which Ole Kolzig did something no goalie has done before that we know of, scored two points in a game. Yes, Ole scored a goal, but he also had an assist. Even his hockey idol, Ron Hextall, who has scored twice in, a, in National Hockey League games, has not had two points in a game. Tonight, it's the Kamloops Blazers, the league-leading, the world-leading Kamloops Blazers against the Tri-City Americans. The Blazers last year, 0-5-1 in this building. Will it happen again? I doubt it. It's going to be a tough, tough battle between these two teams. The Americans will win a good share of their games in this building. I doubt if they'll sweep the Kamloops Blazers out of the win column entirely over the course of the year. But it's a goal the Americans have set for themselves to do just that. Former Tri-City American Murray Duval playing for the Kamloops Blazers. And, of course, the Blazers with the leading scorer in the Canadian Hockey League, Len Berry, the centerman who came over from Victoria and just lit things up in Kamloops. We'll have the starting lineups and the face-off coming right up. At left wing, number seven, Phil Huber. Starting at, at center, number nine is Len Berry. Right wing is number 14, Mike Needham. On defense, number 24, Joey Middlestead. Also on defense, number 25, Daryl Sidor. Starting in goal, number one, Corey Hurd. Now the starting lineup for your Tri-City Americans. On defense is number four. So 
Also with the Seattle Light Opera and uh, performing here tonight in the Tri Cities Coliseum. Starting lineups look like this. Defensively for the visiting Campbell Blazers, Joy Middlestead, a former Portland Winterhawk, and Daryl Sador. At center, Len Perry, a former Victoria Cougar. Right winger is Mike Needham. The left winger is Phil Hubert, who was a line mate with Dave Sadowski last year in Campbell. For the Americans, Steve Jakes and Dan Kristenka at the point. At center, Steve McNutt. Left winger, Calvin Nibb. Right winger is Steve Rennie. The referee is Darren Morris. We're ready to drop the puck. This first period face-off brought to you by Double A Lock and Engraving. Computerized engraving for trophies, pins, and plastics. The Hockey Fans Headquarters. Double A Lock and Engraving. 220 West Columbia Drive in Kennaway. And the Blazers win the draw. Puck shot in beside the Tri-Cities net. Shurstenka goes around behind the net. Fires it out right side. Needham right there to jump all over him. Puck loose in the corner. Blazers with it. Poked away from Huber. And goes over to the right corner. Into the right point. Now Sidor takes the shot. And they score! Breaking in from the point left. Look like uh, Huber I or Barry. Nope, number nine, Len Barry. Len Barry strikes early. There he goes. Len Barry picks up the rebound and pass bounces off the back wall as it came right out in front of Olaf Kozig. He just chipped it like a little nine iron and he put it down and it went right past Oli the goalie into the net. And the Kamloop Blazers jump out on top early at the 19 second mark of this first period, one to nothing. Len Berry picks up his 36th goal of the year. Daryl Sidor and number 14, Mike Needham, at 19 seconds. Oh, that was uh, that was quick and ugly, and the Blazers drop on break on top. There's a shot from outside the blue line. Fired in by the Americans. Blazers drop it right back outside. Now and shot out of play off the stick of Rob Krause. So Len Berry lights one up early. That, uh, well, that came as a surprise. That was, wasn't even much of a shot, and it went around behind the net. And uh, there was Berry breaking in from the left side with an easy chip shot. And it was. It just exactly that. The nine iron was pulled out of the bag, and he took a chipper. Kolzik had two chances, slim and none, on that one. And uh, the puck shot in, right in front, knocked away from in front of the net. Reeves had a whack at it. Now Spenrath goes into the corner, hard belts Dean Malcock. And the Blazers have a headman pass quickly up the left side, Trevor Sim. Sim's line is on with Murray Duval. Puck goes into the left corner, picked out of there by Sandwith in the Tri City zone. Sandy tied up along the wall by Murray Duval, number 18, former Tri City American. Now comes to Barnes. Barnes. Slides it across left, tries to get it across the blue line, puck left there. Picked up by Duval, he wheels. Murray pulls up, looks ahead, finds a man, Brian Chance breaking in. Chance jumps over the puck and the blue line. Now Krause fires it along the wall to Reeves. Picked up by Trans Sandwith. Sandwith chops it out to center ice for Spenrath. Spenrath with it off the right side, fires it into the Kamloops zone, and it goes out of play. Oh, boy. Well, that's exactly what the Kamloops Blazers wanted to do and accomplish was jump out and get the early lead. Now what the Americans are going to have to do is they're going to play catch-up hockey, and that's something that you don't like doing, especially against the number one ranked team in all of the all of North America, all 40 major junior hockey teams throughout Canada and the United States. Faceoff will come in the neutral zone. It is Degner against McGowan. Degner wins the draw. Tri-Cities with it. Sure stink. Across ice left now to Scott Farrell. Farrell just acquired from Spokane today. Puck shot into the Kamloop zone. Americans dive in on top of it. Lindsay cuts it down, takes it off the wall. Goes left for Sackick. Fires it around behind the net. Picked up there by Paul Cruz. Cruz brings it up. Being forechecked heavily, but they get it to McGowan. McGowan breaks down left circle. McGowan cross ice right. Shot 
taken by Boyer, and Boyer has it stopped by Colzig. Back up the left wing now. Sackett cross ice right for Lindsay. Chopped away from him by Todd Harris. Back for it is Shurstanka. He goes cross ice left now to uh, Farrell. Farrell plays it up the wall. Taken away from him by McGowan. Board pass left. Shot. Colzig leaves the rebound right in front of the net as Boyer blasted one. It was picked up by the Americans. Good defensive play for Tri-Cities that time as Sackett fires a cross ice pass for Lindsay. Lindsay can't get to it. Americans drop back. Blazers in their own zone now. Sador chopped at by Sackett. Sack has a chance, but it's covered up by Corey Hurd. Jared Sador trying to move the puck out of his own zone was unable to. And there was Brian Sackett doing just what the Americans have to do, and that is four check. Brian Sackett, one of the better ones on the Americans team, number eight. He is heading off, getting a little bit of a rest. But that was a good play, and Corey Hirsch had nothing better to do but cover that up on a charge, and Brian Sackett heading in right on it. McNutt with Rennie and Nibs on the faceoff. He's on against uh, Len Berry, Huber, and Mike Needham. Puck shot cross ice. Needham can't get to it. Back in the neutral zone. Nibs takes a whack at it, picked up by Berry. Fired in left of the Tri-Cities net. Devin Dirksen goes back for it. They're playing Dirksen at the point tonight. The Americans kind of hurting for defensemen. Shot taken from the left wing. Picked up by the Americans. Dirksen. Here comes the rush. Three on two. Dirksen left. Nibs. Nibs a drive. Played off the arm by Corey Hirsch. And it goes out of play. Hirsch just directed that one right up over the glass. It was a nice slap shot. They caught him up onto the glove shoulder. An area where not a whole bunch of pads are at. They do have the uh, shoulder pads up there, but there is a small area where it is unprotected. That'll sting you. It certainly will. Blazers score at the 19 second mark to make a 1 0 camp loop. Face off left circle, McNutt against Barry. Barry wins it. Back behind the net now goes Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer fires it out along the wall, but Nibs there. The collect it for the Americans, gets it to McNutt. McNutt waits for the Americans to clear the zone. They race in after it. Rennie, McNutt, and Calvin Nibs comes out to Needham. Bang! Nibs takes a shot at Needham. Back in behind the net now. Niedermeyer with it as he and Middlestat go after the puck. Back in low behind the net. Rennie and McNutt tie him up. Rennie with the puck. Rennie with it. Sweeps it down low for McNutt. Steve McNutt tied up along the boards in the right corner. Now coming out for it is Rennie. Up front. Jakes a drive caught in the glove by Hurst and covered up by Corey Hurst. That was a bullet from the right point. Steve Jakes cranking one out of the Howitzer shot. Corey Hirsch coming up big with the glove save. 19, 1 and 0. 21 games he's been in, 1,236 minutes for the Blazers. He's only allowed 74 goals to get behind him. He's got a 3.59 goals against average, 553 saves, an 88% save percentage. Incredible. Now Barnes line is on against Chance Duval. And uh, Trevor Sim. Face off, picked out of there by Dean Malcock. The defenseman goes right to Bonner. Bonner back to Malcock. Behind the net, he runs out to the left point. Overshot Needham. Quick shot taken, or overshot Duval. Shot taken, knocked down by Barnes. Here comes Bonner. Bonner up the right wing to Sim. Sim, blue line, starts in top of the slot. Duval picks it up. Nope, Sim loses it. And the Americans knock it away. Krause losing it to Sim. Down low, Duval. Duval tied up by Trap by a Trans Sandwich, but the Blazers still with it. Sim give and go left. Duval fires it in behind the net. Comes out along the boards to Spenrath. Gets it to Barnes. Spenner with Barnes and Reeve. But puck left along the wall. Sim with it. Drops it back now for Murray Duval. Duval wheels. Draft pick of the New York Rangers. Goes right side to Bonner. Bonner with it. Comes to the blue line. Fires it in. Right of the Tri-Cities net, it wheels all the way around, picked up by Kyle Reeves. Reeves slapping it back to center ice, knocked down by Sim. And Barnes there to take it away. Barnes, two on one, he scores! Joey Barnes as Fenrath goes in and uh, crunches. Corey Hurst just, uh, it wasn't bad enough to score on him, but uh, Fenrath made him pay. Made him feel it. Joey Barnes bringing the puck over the blue line by himself has Greg Fenrath off to his left side, two on one. Benrath has a decoy, kind of looks over there, doesn't pass to him, cranks up the slap shot and puts it through the five hole on Corey Hurst. And the Americans have tied it up one to one. American first goal! I wish Tom wouldn't be so blase about these things. <laughs> Give a medal to 
assist to Greg Spenrath. Face off left, Sador takes it into the Tri-City zone. We're tied at one. Scott Farrell, outlet left, goes to Sackick. Sackick has it stolen away by Cruz. Sackick tips it back. Here comes Degner. Degner with Lindsay. Two on, three on two. Degner tries to get in. Lindsay shoots! Locked there by Hurst. Pucks loose. Picked up by the Blazers. Cruz up the left wing. Tries to center. Knocked away from him by the Americans. Fired back in and Lindsay. Lindsay in a slot. Lindsay head to Degner. Degner shot blocked into the corner and goes. Sackick, Lindsay and Degner. The manufacturing line is on and we have a whip ball. And it will be a tripping penalty against the Kamloop Blazers. Giving the Americans their first power play opportunity of the night. Comes at 5.04 and goes against all crews. Hey, you know what they call that line of uh, Glenn Ferry, Bill Huber, and Mike Needham? What's that? Blue Thunder. Oh, gee. I can believe that. Yes, sir. But we won't talk about that tonight. We'll <laughs> talk about the manufacturing company. That's right. Kamloop Blazers penalty killing 84.5%, number one throughout Canada. That is number one. Face off right circle, sacking. Losing the draw, Blazers with it, and they center it. Back out to center ice, Dirksen there gets to Barnes. Dirksen and Barnes at the points with Sackick, Reeves, and Spenrath. Puck feathered in, left to the net. Will come off the wall to Spenrath. Spenrath jumps on middle stat, goes into the corner. Puck loose right beside the net. Picked up by the Blazers. Here comes Kamloops ahead, left side. That's Len Berry. Berry, blue line. Fans at a shot as he's taken down by Dirksen. Dirksen pops him in the corner. The Americans pick it up. Here they come. Four on two. Tri Cities with a four on two. Barnes to the blue line. Barnes carries it in. Goes right. Tried to get it to Reeves. Reeves couldn't get the job done. And it's picked up again by the Blazers. Left to Huber. Huber from Berry brings it back, but it's two on four. Huber goes to the right. Barnes pokes at the puck. Huber takes it into the corner. Barnes crunches him. And the Americans have it back into the Kamloops zone. Here comes Reeves with Spenrath. Two on two penalty coming from behind. A cross check according to Darren Loris. And will go against Stewie Barnes if I read Barnes's lips correctly. And Barnes better be careful because he's really airing out Loras. Loris. He's really airing about right now. And Stewie's getting. Oh, and it's a major. A five-minute major against Stu Barnes. Uh-oh. And Stu is really hot, and he better be careful. Uh, he's Now he's going to buy himself. He probably already did. Cross-check is the call, I believe, correct? Spearing is the call. Spearing, uh-oh. Stu Barnes, five minutes for Spearing plus a game misconduct of uh -oh. 6 -0 And there he goes. Uh, major, doesn't a major carry an automatic game misconduct? Yep. That one sure did. Well, I think it, I think it is automatic. So Stu Barnes is gone at the 6.02 mark of the first period. Now, one of two things can happen. This either becomes a real character builder or you have a built-in excuse. That's exactly right, Kurt. And hopefully they'll take the first one. I did not see the spear, did you? I didn't either. Well, I was going down here following the puck. It happened out here in the neutral zone. I don't I didn't see right anybody, anybody act injured either, but uh, apparently the call was uh, intentional, intending to injure. So Malcock with the puck on the faceoff. The Blazers with it. Dean Chance. It's going to be four on four for a minute. And uh, Brian Chance, rather. Four on four for a minute. And uh, as the Americans keep the puck back in the Blazers zone, Nibs and Rennie really doing some work. Now Chance brings it up, goes cross ice right to McGowan. McGowan breaks into the Tri-City zone, gets crunched by Kraus. Back forward is Jakes to Kraus along the wall. Rob Kraus fires a pass ahead to Rennie. Two on two, Rennie and Nibs. Rennie leaves it for Nibs. Nibs will have to poke at it. Gets it over to Rennie. Back to Nibs. Stolen away by the Blazers. Back to center ice. Jakes will have it. Boy, they're going to have to work. 18 seconds left in the four on four. Then the Blazers with a four minute power play. McNutt diving in on top of the puck into the corner. In with Niederbeier. Niederbeier wheels around behind the net, fires it off the wall. Picked up by Chance. Out to center ice. And Scott Farrell is there. Scarrell, Farrell to Lindsay. Lindsay takes a whack from Cruz. Puck picked up there by Shostenka and fired back into the. Kamloop zone. Lindsay racing in on top of the puck, but it's shot back out of there by Hirsch. Now McNutt slapping it back along the wall. 
Back to Farrell. Farrell fires it out to center ice. Picked up by Shrestenka. Nope, he won't get to it, but Farrell has it. And now Lindsay back in his own zone. Lindsay being taken off. The Americans have it. Up the left side, Scott Farrell tries to get it to Shrestenka. Can't, but Danny skates it away from Middlestad. Now it's fired back to center ice, back into the Blazers' zone. And a quick shift change, Tri-Cities. Scott Farrell making an impact already. They got him for a list player. Puck shot back into the Kamloops zone again by Devin Dirksen. A list player is a player who is uh, on the Americans' protected list but is not on the current roster. Puck stolen away by Sackick at center ice. And fired back into the Blazers' zone. Knocked down by Middlestat. Middlestat lays it off left to Barry. Barry tries to headman Trevor Sim. Can't. Sackick's there. Sackick back to Jake. Jake slapping it back outside the blue line. 2.44 to go in the Blazer five-minute power play. Chance takes a whack, and the Americans fire it back one more time. Gerald Sador back in his own zone now. Sador brings it up for the Blazers. Steps around Levin, shoots. Kolzik makes his save. And that, Tony, is the first shot on goal in two and a half minutes with a man advantage. Exactly right, Kirk, as the Tri-City Americans now have really got to dig deep and really play some solid hockey tonight. And they have done just that on this power play. The five-minute major, of course, was uh, only had about a minute in it uh, that was taken off with the four-on-four, four, but then the rest of it has been Kamloop power play. And remember, on these majors, they can score as many times as it crosses the red line. What amazes me is Stu Barnes, who is normally played with a lot of control and discipline, gets ticketed that early in a game for a spearing. That's uh, pretty serial. As Sador comes around behind the net, starts up the left wing boards. Looking ahead, Nibs chops the puck away from him. Nibs dropping it back to Kraus, and Kraus rips one back into the Kamloops zone. Hurt bounces it back out to Sador. Sador wheels behind his own blue line. Brings it up, cross ice right, Phil Huber. Huber dumps it into the right corner, Kolzig will play it. Kolzig rifles one right back out to the point. It got by Huber and can't. And back for it now goes Len Berry. Berry back behind the net. Berry will pull up and start things out for the Blazers. He's wearing the assistant captain's A tonight. Need him up the right side now. Faces up with Sandwith. Fires the puck around him, but Jakes will have it in the corner. Now it's tied up, Jakes and Chance tie up. Huber backing in on Coles. It gets dumped by Sandwith. A drive out front. Puck's blocked and redirected. Huber tried to redirect it. Wouldn't go. Kolzig made the save. Now Levins with it. Levins and Spenrath wheel in on Hirsch. Levins and Hirsch pokes it away. Spenrath ties his man up in the corner. That's Huber. Now Spenrath dumps Huber. And Huber goes to the ice. Spenrath wants to get him up and punch him. And uh, Huber is uh, just covered up in the corner as Spenrath tried to jerk him off the ice and uh, let him have it. Was do doing a pretty good job of it, too. Yeah. He's picking him right up. Pick him right up uh, as uh, Huber just uh, assumed the fetal position when Spenrath uh, thumped him once. Spenrath grabbed him by the, or oh, that isn't Huber, it's Barry. Spenrath grabbed him by the scruff of the neck, jerked him up in the air, and that freed up one hand to punch him. And Spenrath really whacked him about three times. Spenrath's going to go, and I'm not sure if Barry's going to go or not. Now, uh, Barry telling the referee how bad it is as Spinrath goes to the penalty box. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't going to be what I think it's going to be. They're going to give him five for fighting. Uh, that Lynn Barry's going over. Jeez, why'd that guy do that to me? Well, and he's going over and he's talking with Hitchcock, and it doesn't look like Barry's even going to get affected on this. Well, the referee having a word with the linesman, and while they do that, let's take a quick timeout with the score tied at one. Porra! 
Eric, it looks as if Greg Spinrath is being escorted to the locker room. Now, we can't assume a whole bunch from up here, but... That's awkward. Yeah. What I'm understanding... Let's see, there's 10, 11 remaining. It's a 10 minute. Well, I could have got Conver five for fighting plus a 10. 10. Then, uh, then again, he, he could may be... have gotten a gamer I on mean, that. Come on, let's be honest. He took Huber into the wall, tied up Huber. He's, he is getting a five minute. Oh, he's getting a major. He took Huber into the wall and then started punching on him. Or Barry, I'm sorry, took Barry into the wall, started punching on him, and. Here, here's the call. Number nine, Len Berry, two minutes for slashing. Tri-Cities penalty to number 27, Greg Spenrath. Two minutes for instigation, five minutes for fighting, and a game misconduct at 9.49. Well, we've lost two. Well, now, wait a minute. All right, he gets a game misconduct, but I don't see how he gets a five-minute major on the board. That, that doesn't seem... I understand Sven Raff getting five for fighting, but they don't put five for fighting on the board normally, do they? That's true. And a game misconduct, I understand. Two minutes for instigating, I understand. Give Tony a second to talk with uh, the uh, head of off-ice officials here, Barry Kilburn, and see if we can't sort that one out because the announcement is different from uh, the penalty. Let's see if we got it, got it? Yeah, what it is, Kirk, is that there's nothing there to cancel it off on the other side. So they will put up a five minute penalty. Oh. And if it was canceled off, then there wouldn't be any other penalties up there. But uh, oh, well, so doesn't Barry's two minute cancel it, cancel part of it? Barry got two for slashing. Oh, that cancels the instigating. Ah, oh, I got it, okay. I got it. Barry's two for slashing cancels the, the two instigating. for instigating. Five for fighting is a major, and that goes up there because there's no, there's no cor uh, coincidental major because Barry didn't. That's right. He did not. Assumed the fetal position and tried to crawl under the ice. Well, what we got to look at right here now, Kirk, is five on three. Two of the top players the Americans have are out early in this contest. Not even halfway through the first period yet. Boy. That is ugly and strange. Face off, won by Kamloops. Here come the Blazers, need him up the left side. That's another major, so there'll be 10 minutes of major penalties in this period. Five on three, Blazers with it. Jakes, McNutt, and Shurstenka. Blazers, Huber back behind the net. Huber out to the left wing now to Needham. Needham back up front, McGowan. Or uh, check it, that's Duval. Duval, cross ice right, Chance. Starts in behind the net. Chance will go in. Chance pulls it out, finds Huber. And Kolzig makes a save on Huber, point blank. So there's one save for only the goalie. All right, let's go to see this crowd being uh, supportive as well because you could actually hear the wind just go out of this place when they let Stu go. And then when Spen went rent, then they started doing the same thing and the moans started coming out. But you know what? The, the fans here in the Coliseum need to really stay behind. The players that the Americans still have, they can still win this hockey game. I mean, they're not out of it yet. Tied at one. Five on three, and the Americans fire at the length of the ice. 40 seconds left in the major to Barnes, which means the Americans are close to killing off that major penalty. Now Duval brings it up. Murray Duval along the right wing boards, takes a poke from Shurstenka. Jakes is wiped out, and a penalty. Oh, he's hurt. Needham's going to get crunched as Jake gets slammed hard into the board. Shurstenka's there to have a word with Mike Needham. And uh, that'll take care of the major, I think. And what are you out? Let's see. What about five here? Huh? Let's see oh, if they gotta get... be. Gotta be. We gotta see a, a five. That's coming. exactly what Krause is. Uh, Krause is over pointing out to Loris, but I don't like the look on Rob's face. Yeah. Mike Needham's gonna go. Let's see if he's gonna go for five. That comes at the 10:35 mark. I don't think he is. Oh, and Rob is really hot. He is hot, and I don't blame him. And they're not going to do it. They're going to get a checking from behind two minutes. Oh. Well, Darren Morris deserves to hear what he's going to hear on that one because Needham just crushed Jakes into the board. No, no, uh -uh. Bad call. Coach. Boy, this is turning out to be ugly. Five on four. This is the way it goes in the late third period, not in the first. 
Puck shot in left of the net. Back beside the Kamloops net. Back for it goes uh, Niedermeyer. He'll bring it up. Niedermeyer for the Blazers. Goes cross ice right Sim. Sim left to uh, Boyer. Poked away from Boyer by Kraus. Now knocked back into the camp or by Jake. Knocked into the Kamloops zone. Puck shot back into the Tri-City zone. Kolzik motioning. Now it's four on four. Outlet pass right. Here come the Americans. Went right by Bowen. Back into the Kamloops zone. The Americans racing in on Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer lined up by Lindsay. Bang, Lindsay cross checks him off. Lindsay and McNutt with the puck. Lindsay picks it up. Lindsay had a shot, couldn't go. Sandwich with it, chopping it down low into the corner right. Picked up there by Balcock. Balcock along the wall, belts Lindsay. And the Blazers bring it up two on two as they bring it up to center ice. Now Sim will wheel back and restart the break in. Blazers backhand pass into the Tri City zone. Still four on four for another minute. Then it will be five on four. Blazers advantage for a minute. Up the left wing boards, McNutt. McNutt has Lindsay ahead of McNutt's shot. Poked away by Corey Hirsch. Lindsay back up front, Sandwith. Sandy tees up, goes left, down below the net. Picked up there by Middlestat. Middlestat fires it out along the wall. Blazers with it. McGowan out to center ice. Sandwith knocks it down. Sandy turns, goes in ahead of Lindsay, dumps it in left of the net. Puck cut off by Hirsch, left beside the net for Middlestat. He'll bring it out. Middlestat, headman pass right for McGowan. Length of the ice, it'll be icing. When uh, Dirksen gets to it, we get the call. 7.43 remaining in the period. 1-1 one, one tie, but my, oh my. We'll be back at Tri-Cities Coliseum. Uh, Tony and I want to say happy birthday to Victoria Prince. Turned seven today. She's the sister of Jason Taylor, the uh, dressing room attendant for the Tri-City Americans. Happy birthday, Victoria. Happy birthday. Face off left circle, Rennie and Chance in the Kamloops zone. Now Chance gets the thumb and in comes Murray Duval. Rennie wins it. Shot by Dirksen. Hits the pad. Loose in the slot and it's knocked away by Rennie. Rennie couldn't quite get to it. The Americans with another chance. Nibs trying to hammer it in. Won't go. Everybody scrambled up behind the net. And the Blazers power play will start in a second when Needham steps onto the ice. One second. Right side. Taken down low. Sador. He's tied up. The Americans rush him and bring the puck back up into neutral ice. Dirksen just crunched Daryl Sador. Up the right side, Chance now. As the Blazers break in, they with the man advantage. Brian Chance pulls up. Duval overskates the puck, and it's shot back into the Blazers' zone. Racing back for it, Brian Chance. Chance, nope, that's not Chance, it's Malcock. Cross ice left, now to Len Berry. Berry, his pass, cut off by Sackick. Sackick, Dinger, Dinger, break away, Dinger shoots! And a penalty coming up. And the Americans with it. It's going against Kamloops. Now the Blazers have the puck, and we got the whistle. Penalty against the Blazers. And uh, that takes care of the Greg Spenrath penalty. Yep. And that will give the Americans a short power play as soon as a minute and 34 is expired off of the penalty to Spenrath. Malcock draws the penalty. Let's get the call from Tom Lake. To number 23, Dean Malcock. Two minutes for slashing at 13.15. And the Blazers 0 for 2. That's 10 minutes worth of power plays. Also, a penalty. No, that's Loring that's going to finish that's out. That's Loring first. serving uh, the rest of right. Spenrath's bye-bye ticket. 6.45 to go. In the first period, we're still tied at one. Americans will have a 26-second power play in about a uh, minute and 34. Face-off Reeves against Huber. Reeves, shot taken from up front, Kraus. Now Levens is hauled down, and here come the Blazers. Buchanan up the left wing boards. Buchanan crosses with Huber, takes it into the right hash mark. All the way down low behind the net. Tries to wrap, can't. Cut off by Levens. Now Sandwith bounces him hard in the corner, and Levens has the puck. As Sandwith ties up Buchanan, and then discards him like a rag doll. Three on three, the Americans bring it up. Levens hauled off the puck, and we have an offside. And a hooking call against... I believe that's going to go against Trevor Buchanan as he hooked Scott Levens coming up with the puck. Yep. And kept him from going over the blue line to get the rush established for the Americans. Trevor Buchanan. Nope, they're going to whistle. Bill, Bill Huber. Huber. They got Huber on that one. Okay. Bye, Bill. 
So if Phil takes the powder here, and that comes to the 1343 mark. Well, if I had my pick on which one of those guys between Buchanan and Huber I'd like to have it down, I think I'd go with number seven. I don't think that'd be too hard to pick, do you? <laughs> Phil Huber. Two minutes for hooking at 1343. 617 remaining in the first period. Sackick and Barry on the faceoff. Sackick wins it. Jakes goes to the right side. Jakes Dirksen. It's four on three for the American shot. Block. Comes out into the slot. And the Blazers pick it up. That's Barry. Barry cross ice left. Shot in right of the Tri-City zone. Dirksen has it. Devin Dirksen wheels. Four on three. The Americans with a man advantage for uh, 45 seconds. And then they'll have a two-man advantage for a while as Jakes brings the puck up. Jakes, cross ice right, Reeves, Reeves, on the doorstep, shoots, and he's just wide. Puck comes out along the wall to set to uh, De Dirksen. Dirksen down left, Reeves, Reeves looking at Jakes. Jakes goes down, Reeves in the left corner. Reeves shoots for the short side, rebound comes back out. Goes, gets by Dirksen. Dirksen being looked over by Barry. Dirksen goes left to Kyle Reeves. Americans, four on three. Reeves fakes a shot, pass to himself. Fine, looks at Jake. Jake's breaking in, can't get to the puck. And the Blazers have it. They bring it up. Here comes Barry. Barry, headman pass left for Needham. Needham pulls up back to Barry in the slot. Barry shot block. Goldie! Great save by Ole the goalie. And here comes Reeves. Five on three. There's Loring. Loring, great, great. Shoots, but he's wide. Missed everything. A whistle. Now Loring is punched by number 24, Middlestat. Reeves steps in between the. Now, Loring wants a piece of Middlestat. I don't know why Middlestat had to punch him, except, I think, for shooting after the whistle. Well, you know, and another thing is, is that where was the call on the two-line pass? Say what? I mean, these referees, uh, the officials tonight, have got to be consistent if they're going to call. Uh, that was definitely a two-line pass against the Americans. I mean, yep. he, he was within 20 feet behind the blue line back there, and Loring had stepped out of the penalty box, jumped over the red line. You can't do that. You can't cross a blue and a red line with the puck. That's two lines. So well, and they're taking it back inside the American zone. So I guess they reason. did. It's a 18 seconds remaining in the... Uh, Two in the five on three. Then Malcock will come back on the ice. Blazers win the draw. Backhanded right out of play. Shot out of there by Chance. And they'll face it off back out at center ice now. Middlestat, Chance, and Duval. This is just what Coach Ken Hitchcock wanted to have happen. He said the first 12 minutes of this game were critical. If they could stay close, then they had a real good chance because they're a good second and third period team. 1-1 one, one tie as Levin dumps Middlestat, but the Blazers have the puck. Shot back into the Tri-City zone. Seven seconds left, the five on three. Then it'll be five on four for 25 seconds. Jakes has to shoot it back into the zone. Now Dirksen gets it back to Steve Jakes. Jakes brings it up. Headman pass up the right wing to Levens. Levens with the puck in the corner. Smash! Comes shot right back out. Blazers firing it out. Colson comes out of the crease. Plays it ahead to Dirksen. Dirksen turns, looks. Plays it off the wall to Degner. Degner dumps it in. Cut off by Middlestat. Back to the neutral zone. Jakes, long distance. Hits Sador right in the backside. Sador turns. Goes right to Boyer. Here comes Boyer. Top of the right circle. Drop back pass, but Lindsay has it. Huber puts the lumber to Lindsay, and Lindsay's hauled down. Lindsay getting it out into the center ice. Goes right. Degner. Degner with it. Degner across the blue line. Both teams at full strength. Degner goes to the corner for Levens and Lindsay. Levy has it. Gets it to Lindsay. Lindsay on the wall. Lindsay with it. Wheels out in the slot. Shrestanka shot. Blocked up front. Shrestanka dump. As uh, Cruz comes in and levels Shrestanka. Now the pass comes out to Shrestanka or to uh, Cruz. He and Boyer break in. Colzig makes two saves and gets whacked by a blazer. Now Colzig comes up, puts a little lumber, I think, on the. Uh, yeah, I think it's Boyer that gets the lumber. Colzig says, hey, boy, you'd like to have your leg broke? Do that again. Paul Cruz coming in with a shot. He just gets the wrist shot off, and it goes right into Olaf Kolzig's big pads. But it rebounded back out, and Zach Boyer right there to pick up the garbage. And he let a loose, a, a, not a real powerful shot, but Ole was there still down on the ground, and the big pads were still stuck in the place where they were shooting for. And it bounced right back off, and Ole just put the glove over it, throws it up, and they'll have the faceoff. Faceoff left circle in the Tri-City zone. One by McNutt. It goes out to Kraus. Kraus wheels. Krause fires a pass, cross ice, comes to Rennie. Rennie has to whack at it. 
to save it. Gets it to Nib. Stolen away from Nib by Needham. Needham on the transition back into the Tri-City zone. Kozik knocks it down. Both teams at full stink. Krauss behind the net. Outlet pass right. Cut off by middle. Stat a drive. Steered down low behind the net. Goes into the left corner. Puck bouncing around. Bounce, bounce. Picked up there by McNutt. As uh, Krauss is taken down. McNutt goes in left. Tries to find Nibs. Nibs behind the net. Nibs gets a big hit down in the corner. McNutt goes after the puck. Blazers fired around to the left point. Sandworth takes his man out of the play, but Huber picks up the puck. Huber brings it to the blue line. Huber drop back pass. The Americans tie up everybody. Sandworth there with McNutt to poke it out. Headman pass for, for Nibs. He can't quite get to it. But Nibs jumps on Needham. Nibs all over Needham. Now Rennie steals it away. Rennie with the puck. Rennie turns. Fires it into the corner. Jake's racing it after it. He's hooked up. Puck comes off to Malcock. Malcock brings it out. Headman pass left for Duval. He's knocked down. Chance has the puck. Chance with it in the slaughter shot wide of the net. Sacking. Fires it back out to center ice. Malcock goes back for the Blazers with Bonner. Bonner turns. He's a big hit. Fires it left. Off the wall. Picked up by Duval. Murray Duval lays it off to Chance. Chance brings it up with Saul. Offside, Trevor Sim. Trevor Sim just in ahead of the play. And you can't do that. It was a two on one for the Blazers. Stopped them uh, dead right there. Bring it right outside the American zone for the faceoff. 1 1, 2 15 remaining in this first period. An action packed first period. A lot of things happening, of course. Stewie Barnes is gone, and Greg Spenrath is gone for the game. Degner on the faceoff against Brian Shan. Chance with the puck. Drops it right to uh, Malcock. Malcock shoots it in. The Americans shoot it right back out along the wall. Sim has it. Sackick takes a whack at it. Now Degner with it. Degner cross ice for Lindsay. Lindsay wheeling in. Lindsay hauled down. He crunches. Corey Hurt. Penalty coming. And a big cross check laid in there by Malcock as he drilled Dirksen. Or is that Sackick? I can't tell. No, that's uh, Bill uh, Lindsay. Bill uh, Lindsay went in with it, and he took down Billy Lindsay as he went right into Corey Hurt. Duval gets the penalty. And Duval will get it. Well, I think Duval's probably seen uh, Billy Lindsay kamikaze off those boards before. Well, and another thing that it just did right there is he went into Corey Hirsch, and Corey Hirsch was very slow getting up as a couple of the Blazer teammates go around to talk to him to see if he's okay. He's up, but uh, he was stunned on that a little bit. Well, the Americans getting a power play here. They're fourth of the period. The Americans have actually had more power plays than Campbell's, but they haven't had them for longer. Blazers have had two five-minute majors working their way. Puck fired out along the wall. Blazers drill it into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig stops it beside the net. Those look like they're not really frozen very well. Yeah, they're bouncing around a lot, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are. Dirksen brings it up. Cross ice right to Jakes. Cross, cross ice pass for Sackick. Sackick takes it in. Goes right. Green shot. Block Hirsch. And he covers up. Hirsch makes his save right on the pads as Reeves blasted away from the right circle. Nice play by Corey Hirsch as Scott Levin and Brian Sackick both were in on that rush. Dropped it off to Kyle Reeves. Let one rip right on top of the left circle. And Corey Hirsch comes up with a big save right on the pad. Face off, right circle. Kamloops zone, now Reeves goes off for a quick word. I guess he's just having a word with Rick Coates back. Sackick, Reeves, Levin with Jake and Dirksen for the Americans, for Kamloops. That's Bonner, Chance, Middlestat, puck fired around along the wall, back to center ice. Trevor Sim racing in. Sim, a shot. Kolzig makes the save. Rebound comes out to Dirksen. Dirksen ahead to Jake. Minute 21 to play in the period. Cruises in on top of Corey Hirsch. Hirsch in a panic. Falls on top of the puck as Sackick right roaring in on top of him. You know, Kirk, the last time these two teams met, uh, that on the 27th of October, that 7-6 overtime win for the Blazers up at Kamloops. At that time, Coach Ken Hitchcock has, was mentioning, he said that the Americans' team is a much better team than his team. He thinks that uh, the talent-wise is that they're about even, but he feels that with the experience the Americans have over the experience that the Blazers have, that uh, the Americans really will be right there at the end of this season. Minute 16 to go in the first period. McNutt against Brian Chance. Chance, a 19-year-old in his second year, played at Kamloops last year. Degner and Chance on the faceoff. Chance wins it. It's shot along the wall. Gets by Krause. There goes Sim racing in on Kolzik. 
Coles it way out of the crease to slap it by Trevor Sim. Back up to center ice. Picked up by Lindsay. Lindsay one on three. Lindsay taking off the puck and shot back to center ice. Now Krause has it. Krause goes right to Jakes. Jakes wheels away from Sim. Puck's picked up by Degner. Degner turns. Tries to get it to Lindsay. It's poked back out. Krause with it now. Krause overskates it. Picked up by Sim. Sim chance. Chance back to Sim. Sim. Taken out by Kolzig. Pucks around behind the net. Oh, he lost the stick. Pucks back up front. Shot. Kolzig butterflies and it goes wide of the net. Oli without his stick. Puck shot back in. Now Kolzig out of the crease to stop the puck. As we get a shift change, both teams. Kraus picks up the stick. Kolzig has the lumber back. Puck up the right wing now to McNutt. McNutt wheels in. McNutt goes to the left side, left point. McNutt down low for Kraus. Kraus takes a hit, but Lindsay has the puck. Lindsay shot, knocked down from behind. Puck comes back out to center ice, foot races on. McNutt and Dirksen, 10 seconds left in the period. 1-1 one, one tie in the first. Back out to center ice. Goes to Malcock. Malcock fires it in. Knocked down there by McNutt, and time runs out. At the end of the first period, the score. Tri-City won. Hamloops won. Back after this. I'm up. Who wants a cold one? Yo, pick me. Ditto. Hey, 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 keep the feet off the furniture. I just bought it. It's pretty nice stuff. Where'd you get it? Tri-City Secondhand Appliance and Furniture in Kennewick. You bought used furniture? Hey, all the stuff's in really good shape. And I saved a bundle. So don't give me any grief or I'll have to show you the door. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get it? That's it. You guys <laughs> are out of here. for the second period face-off. And the second period face-off sponsored by Butler's Big and Tall, the fashion source for men of dimension. Shop there this holiday season, Beth Plaza, and away. And it is Terry Degner against Wayne's chance on the face-off. Buck is down. Degner wins. It goes to Dirksen. Dirksen along the wall. Tried to head man Dagner. Taken off his stick by Sackick. Sackick left circle. Goes left to Lindsay. Poked away in a slot. Back low behind the net. Lindsay goes down. Gets it right back from Sackick. Sackick wheels into the right corner. Sackick gets butt ended in front by Malcock. And the Americans able to keep the puck in play. Dagner chops at it. Goes into the right corner again. Malcock has it. Fires along the wall. Dirksen slaps it right back in. This time Herschel played along the wall. Picked up by Dagner. Dagner into the slot. As uh, Chance jumps on the puck, tries to bring it out. He's tied up by Lindsay. Puck comes out along the wall. Jakes fighting with Duval. Fired back into the corner. Americans with it. Lindsay tried to get it to Sackick. Sack goes in behind the net. Sackick takes the hit. Puck out. Puck. but take it any way you can get it. That was close to being a power play goal, but not quite the American. Quite the last 47 seconds of the period. The assist to number eight, Brian Sackick, and number 25, Boo Lindsay. Lindsay also getting an assist. Uh, McNutt brings it up along the right wing boards. Americans leading 2-1 to one. over the Kamloops Blazers. Puck shot out to center ice. Rennie with it. Rennie lays it off to McNutt. McNutt to Jake. Jake tried to head man. Couldn't. Knocked away from him by Needham. Knocked away from Needham. Now the Americans with it. McNutt races after but Huber will get there first. McNutt lines Huber up. McNutt chops at him and Huber loses the puck behind the net. Nibs. Back to McNutt. Now to Nibs. Down low left in the corner. And the Americans continue to try to grind it loose. McNutt Knocks it away from Huber. Huber goes down. Nibs with the puck. Comes out in front of the net, but Middlestad is there. 
Joey Middlestad fires it the length of the ice as Rennie just crunches Needham. Back behind the net now goes Devin Dirksen. Dirksen wheels up the right wing. Ahead to Rennie, poked at by by Campbell, by Cruz. He loses it, the Americans with it. Jakes, Jakes to the blue line. Jakes takes it in, head of the slot to Nib. Nib's a shot! Just wide of the net, Nib blasted that one and it goes. I believe that one ricocheted out of play as uh, Nib cranked up the slap shot from the middle of the left circle. And there goes the hardest checking line the Americans have got. Steve Rennie, Steve McNutt, Salvin Nib. Boy, those three guys from the four checking, when they get down and get going, they know how to play hockey and keep it very physical. And you know that you see that uh, Kamloops came out with their strong guys too. They did not come out with Barry or Huber against the big checking line of uh, of the guys out here, what we got, Levin's out here now? You got Levin, yep. Reeves, and the Torpedo, Brad Loring. Yeah, that's right, the Torpedo. With uh, Sandwich and Kraut, that's a good size line, but you got Reeves, who uh, has a great nose for the net. You got Loring and Levin, a couple of big, strong kids who can get the puck in there and make things happen. Now they're uh, doing a little ice repair around the net. With the Americans leading two to one, let's take a quick timeout. Want the best deal, but you don't know where. Well, don't blame me if you haven't talked to the bear. Get down to the bear facts, the real nitty gritty. Get down to bear marks, you'll be sitting pretty. Well, credit is no problem if you're working steady. Get yourself there smart. Back at Tri-Cities Coliseum, face off into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig makes his save back up into section TT, or section T rather, the land of Lindsay. <laughs> they have some great you ever sides around with him? here. Oh yeah. He not generally a resident of this planet. <laughs> what a great kid. He's, he's excellent. He is. Two to one. America's leading Campbell. It's just that he only touches down on some days. Face off. Won by the Americans in the Campbell zone and then played right off a stick out of play as Kyle Reeves puts a souvenir up uh, right up below the uh, Right down below us here. here. Yeah. Right down there. That's fine. You people bring that up here right now. That's right. Hey, didn't you almost get one up there in Seattle the other night? Yeah, it scared me half to death. That's a that's quite a shot to get it up there. Yeah, it is. 1741. Thing I worry about is uh, I get them a lot during uh, warm-ups when I'm out walking around in the stands. They use me as a moving target. <laughs> 1738 to go, and they haven't hit me yet. By the way, face off into the. Uh, Campbell zone, won by the Americans, Kraus with it. Kraus goes down low to Reeves. Reeves in behind the net. He's checked off it, comes back up along the wall. Picked up there by Cruz. Crunch, Loring gets Cruz. McGowan takes a big hit from Levins. Now they try to pry it loose. Comes back up for the Blazers. Another big hit by Kraus. This time McGowan takes it in. Shoots it into the slot and Sandwich breaks it up. Nice play by Sandy. Headman pass to Reeves. Reeves almost the breakaway, but Malcock is there to break it up. Off the wall, picked up by the Blazers, shot out to center ice. Here comes Kamloops, but three Americans back with him. Crunch! Krauss puts the door on his backside. And the puck shot back up along the wall, back into the Kamloops zone. Back for it, Malcock, as the Americans racing on him. Loring belts him right beside the net. Bad pass and picked up by Lindsay. Lindsay taken off his stick by Malcock, and it comes back up along the wall. Now Shurstanka and Degner keep it in play. Now back out to neutralize. Sackick wheels, waits for everybody to clear. Sackick goes in along the wall left, and we get a whistle. That's Offside, it. Lindsay yeah. didn't quite clear. Yeah, that's right. Had two Americans inside the zone before they brought it in over the line. Offside. Good play, though. I want to say something about number seven, Ferran Sandwich, as he's now on the bench. But uh, he made a great defensive play down here as he put his stick down on the ice, caught the puck, and brought it up ice, headmanned it up to uh, Reeves, and it was a nice play. 16.26 to go. Second period. Americans with the lead. Puck shot into the Kamloops zone. Sackick spun around and dumped. Puck picked up by Bonner. Back behind the net. Lindsay crunches Bonner. 
Bonner brings it out. Sackick jumps on him. Puck loose. Sackick right front of the net. Lindsay shoots. Saved by Hirsch. Puck loose into the corner as Lindsay gets clobbered, and we get a whistle as Lindsay is cross-checked into the boards. And this will go against Hamloop. Corey Hirsch making a big save as he stones Lindsay right at the front door. Billy Lindsay getting the rebound back in the corner. Got shoved behind by number two, Craig Bonner. The cross check sent Lindsay down to the ice. And with the cross check, sent Bonner to the penalty box. Bonner gets two for cross checking. Power play number five for the American. Face off, left circle, Levens, Sackick, Dirksen with Jakes and Reeves. Boy, without Barnes and Spenrath, it screws up everything. Dirksen with it into the left point. Goes down low, picked up there by Sador. Sador brings it up. Dirksen can't quite keep it in play. Now back out into neutral ice. Dirksen with it. Dirksen to uh, Levens. Goes right between his skates. Down low, Reeves jumping on Sador. Sador with it. Levens crunches him. Dirksen picks up the puck in the corner. Dirksen out front. Reeves scores! Scotty Levens checked down in the corner as he was able to free the puck up. Devin Dirksen sees Kyle Reeves coming right in between the circles. He puts it right on the blade, and Kyle Reeves just puts it right past first into the net. The Americans extend the lead. Now they lead by two. It's now Tri-City three, Hamlet's one. Americans playing with a lot of heart here. Scored by number 17, Kyle. Puck shot around through center ice, back into the Tri-City zone. Golzik will leave it behind the net for Sandwith. Sandy brings it out. Pass right side, Lindsay. Lindsay back to Sandwith. Sandwith brings it up. Feathers it ahead into the Kamloops zone. Blazers knock it right back out here. Sim. Trevor Sim, one on two. Sim's taken down. Lindsay with a puck. Lindsay up the left wing board. Cross ice, sack it. Right, Degner. Degner breaking in to Lindsay in the slot. Lindsay crunches Hirsch, but nobody can get to the puck. Hirsch came out to throw a hip check on Lindsay. Was out of the net. Now they go left to Duval. Backhand shot over Kolzik. Into the corner. Sackick takes the puck into the corner. Sandwith goes down. Ties up his man. Chance with it. Shoots it out to the right point. A drive. Hits a skate. Kolzik pokes it away. Picked up by Kraus. Kraus brings it up the left side. The Americans three on two. Kraus with it. Kraus shoots. Comes out beside the net. Sackett can't get it, but Degner has it. Degner shoots it down along the wall. Shot back out by the Blazers. Picked up at center ice by Sam. Foot race. As uh, the new Tri-City American, Farrell cuts him off. Shot by Sam. Hits the pipe. Got by Colvick. But it hit the pipe. Back out to center ice. Foot race is on. Bowen racing in. Bowen's up in it. And we got a whistle from behind the playoff side. Oh, icing, rather, against the Tri-City Americans with icing the call. 3-1 Tri-Cities. We'll be right back. We're Auto Image, and we can do it all. We're your auto appearance center. We make you look good and your car look great. We're the people you can trust because we love your car as much as you do. off in the left circle tri-city zone puck down low behind the net big hit on mcgowan by levens mcgowan has the puck back behind the net levens all over him puck's loose behind the net picked up by the blazers they try to center poked away by the americans cruz has it cruz down low left gets it down to zach boyer boyer back out front reeves steals it here comes reeves up the left wing with Bowen right behind him four on three reeves pulls up now reeves with the puck off along the wall whoops loses it there to McGowan, here comes McGowan with Boyer catching up. McGowan goes left, Cruz, cruising shot, Colson save, Buck loose, Colson covers up. Great save by Ole the goalie. Ole takes the save, it rebounds back up and hits Zach Boyer right in the pad. And Kyle Reeves right there to do some great defense as he takes uh, Boyer way out of the play, puts him back behind the net. 
And Ole's there to free it all up and cover the puck as the crowd gets into the chant. Ole, Inci Ole. Inc incidentally, Scott Farrell was a member of the, uh, well, not the Tri-City Americans, but he was a New Westminster Bruin for two years. Traded the uh, season before last to New West, so he would have been a teammate of uh, Jake's, Spenrath, Jerry Johansson. Rennie. Rennie. Uh, I was going to say Nibs. No, he would have played against Nibs. As uh, Jakes takes it back behind the net. Knocked off of Jakes' stick. Jakes brings it out. Left side. Here they come. Quick headman pass for Rennie. Knocked away by the Blazers. Fired back into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig will stop it. And we get a whistle. Offside Blazers. And we'll bring it out to the blue line for the faceoff. 3-1. Tri-City leading the Kamloops Blazers. Tomorrow night, of course, you'll be able to see the Tri-City Americans here in the Tri-Cities Coliseum play against the Victoria Cougars. Game time tomorrow, 6 o'clock. We go on the air at 5.30 on KTCR. Then back to uh, Spokane on Wednesday night to take on the Chiefs and uh, the long drive to Kamloops for Friday's game. Puck shot up along the wall, picked up by McNutt, but he gloved it, and they'll freeze the play right there. McNutt throwing it in ahead of himself, and the... Uh, Linesman will blow the whistle. Now, uh, goes back sort of enticing uh, referee Lawrence over and giving him a quick blast as he skates by. 13 13 to go, second period. 3 1 Tri Cities leading the Campbell Blazers. Now, Krauss is over to uh, talk with Lawrence. They're having quite a little discussion out there. Like, hi, Darren, how are you? Oh, How yeah. was the trip? How's your mom? Everybody yeah. well? Do you have any normal brothers or sisters? <laughs> <laughs> I hear it coming. Face off, shot up to center ice. Kraus with it. Brings it up the right wing boards. Kraus for the Americans across the blue line. Kraus backhand. Degner shot with the wide side. No. And Sandwith fires it in. Bucks in front of the net. They scramble. Shoot. Do they score? Yes. No. It's knocked away by the Blazers. What a scramble. The Americans with three chances as the Blazers' Trevor Sim goes in with Sandwith. Sim, Kolzig knocks the puck away, and the Americans have it. Back out to center ice. Kolzig down. Shot. Blocked by Kolzig off into the corner. Sim behind him. Now Degner slaps it away, and Lindsay with the puck. Cross ice right. Sackick. Here come the Americans. Sackick lays it off for Degner. Degner. Side. No, I don't think so. Well, Brian Sackett tried to leave a drop back pass for Degner, but over on the other side, Billy Lindsay just had both skates inside the blue line. The linesman right there to pick it up. Offside Americans, they'll bring it back out. Outside the Kamloops Blazers zone. Face off at, at just outside the blue line at the right circle as you look on from center right. Levens with Reeves and Loring. For Kamloops, it's McGowan with Boyer and Paul Cruz. Now Boyer steps in to take the draw. He wins it. Back to uh, Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer fires along the wall. Reeves knocks it down, but it's picked up by Cruz. Paul Cruz fires right straight up the middle. Drops the pass right side. Shot coming. Colsick! Close save! By the big kid from Union Bay. Good, Vancouver Island. Good thing that he did get that glove save because right off to his left-hand side was Zach Boyer. Off to his right-hand side, Paul Cruz. Both of the Blazers. Any kind of rebound would have gone to either one of those guys, and we would have been looking at a 3-2 game. Great glove save by Ole Degoli. 3-1, the Amer Americans leading the Kamloops Blazers. Tri-Cities came out pumping in the first half of the period. 47 seconds, the time of the first goal. 4-19, the second one, a power play goal to make it 3-1 Tri City. Both teams at even strength now. Puck out to center ice. Shot taken. Kolzik pokes it away. Comes out along the wall by to Malcock. It's chopped up high in the air. Comes down on the ice. Poked down into the corner. Shurstanka goes in after it with Cruz. As uh, Shurstanka and uh, Farrell knock it loose. Picked up by the Americans. Whoops. Bad pass. Sackick passed it right off his skates. Now it's kicked loose and it comes to Lindsay. Lindsay headman to Degner. Degner chops it down. Degner hauled down. He gets hit right in the kidney. And Degner is hurt. We're going to get a penalty. Degner was slashed. And I think we may get the big one here. Well, Coach Kozabak has got his idea he, on what it's going to be. Should. You bet. He's asking for five. Now uh, Krauss being ordered away by Loris. 
Let's see if he's going to apply the five. I think he may to uh, Dean Malcolm. And he should. And there it goes. Yep. Five minute major at 8 14 of the period. That was a half a job on Terry Degner's kidney. That's exactly what it was. Terry Degner's left kidney is now up in his right armpit somewhere. That will be power play number six for the Americans. That's why Loris didn't want to talk to Krause. He already had it figured out and didn't need any more help. Well, Coach Kozabak was over there helping him out, though. Along with 6,000 other people. Conduct at 8 14. That's a major uh, intent to injure. And he dropped Terry Degner like a bad habit. Boy. Face off, left circle, Cam Loops on American with a five minute major to work with here. Levens on the faceoff against Boyer. Now Boyer goes, and in will come Mike Needham for the faceoff. Needham, a 19-year-old from Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. Faceoff won by Levens. Americans with it out to the blue line. Got away from Degner, or from uh, Dirksen, rather. Dirksen will play it to Jakes off the wall. Jakes under pressure from Huber. Goes left to Dirksen. Dirksen pass, knocked away by Needham, but Levens there. Levens pokes it into the Kamloops zone, but the Blazers tee it up, fire it back into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig will leave it there for Devin Dirksen. Well, both teams have had majors to kill. This is the second major against Campbell's Whoops, stolen right in the slot by Needham. Poked away, here comes Huber. Huber back in, Kolzig saves. Kolzig slaps it away, and the Americans will start out again. This time, Sackick brings it up left to Kyle Reeves. Reeves, hook! From behind, shot taken, but it's a weak one as Levens races in. Now there's a punch after the uh, play. Let's see, as Bonner goes in and Belts Reeves in the back of the head. Well, and then there's uh, Joey Middlestadt, former Portland Winterhawk, who got his right cross through there. I don't know if Loris is going to dump him or not. They're both yapping at each other. Levin's in there uh, having a word. Reeves uh, with a little advice for referee Loris. Reeves lost his headgear. I mean, he really took a belt. And, and they are going to dump a blazer. And this is a very big time of the contest for the Americans as they now have Thank a 5 you very on three. Much. Yep. Bonner goes. Bonner will go, I think, for roughing at the 8. And Kyle Reeves is oh. going. Reeves is going to go. Now it'll be coincidental roughing miners. Loris is uh, talking with uh, the. Uh, well, Chance, I believe. Yep, it is Brian Chance. And uh, so it'll be four on three. No, it'll be five on four. McNutt's line with Rennie and Nibs. Now uh, the scorekeeper asking for a little bit of help here from uh, Darren Loris because uh, nobody can quite believe that. That should have created a five on three, but uh, it just didn't. Now Loris over there having a word with uh, Shea Kilburn who calls upstairs to Barry. Barry will call Tom Layton and then we'll have the answer, I think. Or we won't, one or the other. Well, now, now it goes up, okay. Except it's against Middlestat, the one that goes on the board. Number 20, number two. Craig Bonner, two minutes for roughing. Number 24, Joey Middlestat, two minutes for roughing. For the Tri-Cities, number 17, Kyle Reeves, two minutes for roughing at 8.58. And it will be a five on three for the Americans. For two minutes. And the power play will continue for uh, 4.16. Face off comes out to Jake. Jake, cross ice right, nib. Nib can't handle it, and it's shot back to center ice. Huber hauled down from behind, but uh, no whistle. I think Huber went diving there. Cross ice pass left, Dirksen. Dirksen back to McNutt, and the Americans getting in a bit of a hurry here. Now McNutt goes left to Devin Dirksen. Dirksen at the left hash mark up front, McNutt. McNutt now to the hash marks, left side up to Jakes. Jakes, top of the slot, shoots! Poked away, but the puck is loose. The Americans have it, now Nibs will crank one. Nope, back to Jakes. Jakes takes it down, fires. Save made by Corey Hirsch. Puck whacked at, and Dirksen will keep it in play. Down along the glass, it'll go in behind, beside the net. Rennie jumps on it in the right corner. Rennie out to Nibs. Nibs back up front, Jakes back to Nibs. One-timer, and Hirsch puts it away. 
way up high in the air and makes uh, the cat in that big trapper glove. Kamloops playing their triangle defense and doing a good job of it, too. Number 25 out there, Daryl Sador. Number 22, Brian Chance. And number seven, Bill Huber, as they are really coming out and putting a lot of pressure on the five Tri-City Americans. And uh, good, good defense by the Blazers right there. Well, Degner is back now, the manufacturing company. Degner still uh, skating a bit gingerly. Degner, Lindsay, and Sacking with uh, Dirksen and Jakes now. Manufacturing company line is on for the Americans. More Kamloops, Barry, Duval, and uh, 14 Needham. Face off, won by the Americans. Dirksen, a shot, rebound comes off the net. Lindsay around behind, back up front, Jakes. Jakes goes down low, right to Brian Sackick. Back up to Jakes. Jakes knocks the puck down at the blue line. Goes right to Brian Sackick. Sackick at the right hash marks now. Sackick up front, Jake's one-timer. Lead four to one. Brian Sackick on the right circle passes it up to Steve Jakes right down the middle of the slot at the blue line. He cranks up, takes a terrific blast, rebound or actually redirected right down at the goal mouth, right in front of Corey Hurst was Billy Lindsay. Billy Lindsay gets the goal. The Americans get the power play goal. They now lead four to one. Pretty it wasn't effective. It was 9:50 to go in the second period. The Americans showing a lot of heart tonight. Degner winning the draw, but it's picked up there by Sador. He dumps it into the Tri-City zone, calls it, knocks it down. And the Americans score again, no! A chance, but it's covered up. Power play! Sackick and Jake's getting the assist. Sorry to interrupt there. The Americans with a real good chance on Corey Hurst. They came in two on one, but the shot taken and Hurst made the save. Well, that inspirational first intermission has really paid off for the Americans. And they come out, they have completely dominated this entire period. You think about it, that chip shot goal that Kamloops has, Holy Swolzig is playing fantastic in the net tonight. That's right, the Blazers scored first in 19 seconds on what is really probably a fluky goal. Puck in behind the Tri-Cities net, fired off the wall. Still a power play for the Americans. Puck shot out to center ice. Foot races on. Farrell under pressure from Trevor Sim. Farrell will have the puck. Farrell bit back behind the net, pulls up short. Farrell starts out, looks it over, comes right to Kraus. Scott Farrell with the puck up the left wing. Kraus or Farrell, nice pass from Middlestat there to fire it back. Again, Kraus and Farrell go in on the puck with uh, Chance all over him. Now the headman pass to Rennie. Rennie brings it up. Rennie carries it to the blue line. Rennie backhand pass in the slot. and that means it does not erase that penalty. Exactly right, Kirk. And Steve Rennie brings it in over the blue line. He's down around. He starts heading towards the middle. He does a drop back pass off to Calvin Nib. Calvin Nib finds Steve McNutt sitting down in the circle. He lets one rip, and it gets on the short side of Corey Hurst into the net. The Americans, another power play goal. They lead 5-1. Number 15, Steve McNutt. They assist to number 22, Calvin Nibbs, and number 23, Steve Reddy. That is a good line. 2 4 to go in the second period. Or 2 4 to go, rather, in the penalty, the major to Dean Malcock. And 8.50 left on the clock for the second period. Degner is back on the ice. The manufacturing company line, Degner, Lindsay, and Sackick with the Americans setting on a 5-1 lead. Puck back into the Campbell zone, picked up by Murray Duval. Duval cross ice right to Sador. Sador snaps the pass, stolen by Jake. Jake three on two right with Lindsay. Back to Lindsay. Lindsay off the wall. Fires it across the slot. Sackick had a chance, but Hirsch able to steer it away. Now Jake's back for it. The Americans with a great opportunity on that rush. Now Degner fires it up to center ice. It'll be picked up by Snope, chopped away from Sackick. Back into the Tri-City zone. Jakes 
will take it behind the net. Jakes will bring it out for the Americans. Jakes under pressure up the right side to Sackick. Sackick steps around McGowan. Sackick to the blue line. Sack goes left now. Dirksen and Dragon! over the red line, over the blue line. He skates towards the middle. Devin Burks is skating down the left-hand side. He gets it right on the blade. He cranks it up. A blistering slap shot from about 35 feet out. It goes by Corey Hurst into the net. And that goal pulled Corey Hurst. And in comes Dale Mason, the American fourth power play goal. They now lead six to one. Jake's also getting an assist on that. And the Americans' power play continues. 8.08 to go in the period. A minute 22 left in the power play. Now it's Levin with Lindsay and Reeves. 6-1 Tri-City. And the Blazers with a new goaltender, Dale Mason. One and oh, he's only played in six games. He's doing all right. Face off. One by the Blazers along the wall. Jakes has it at his own blue line. Jakes goes left. Dirksen. Dirksen snaps the pass to the right side. Reeves. Reeves right point. Lays it off. Jakes. Jakes back to Kyle Reeves. Reeves in the corner. Leaves it for McNutt. McNutt back in the right corner. He takes a big hit. McNutt has it poked away from him by Huber. Or by Barry, picked up by Huber. Here comes Huber, one on four. Huber to the right side. Huber taken out by Dirksen, goes around behind the net. Tries to slap it back up front, middle stat a drive. Colsey steers it away, comes back up front, picked up by Reeves. Here come the Americans, two on two. Reeves with Levin. Reeves, leaves it for Levin's levy shot. Just poked away by Mason. Buck to the right of the net, out along the wall now. Picked up by McGowan, fired back to center ice. Half a minute to go as Kolzig slaps it ahead to Kraus. Kraus up the wall to Kyle Reeves. Reeves left. No, stolen away. Here come the Blazers. Chance. Two on two. Chance left side. Can't get by Kraus as Huber goes. Loses it. Huber shoots it against the back of the net. Now Kolzig clears it off to Sandwith. As the Americans have a player down on the ice, we got a whistle as Kraus is keeping Chance down. And they'll freeze the play. Let's see if we're going to get a penalty. Kraus tied up Chance. Chance went down and just Kraus making sure that Brian Chance was not going to get up. Corey Hirsch's number as he takes off uh, for the evening at 11.59 or 11.52 of the second period. Corey Hirsch had 20 shots shot against him tonight. He came up with, uh, let's see, 14 saves. And he will not be a part of, the only part of this decision tonight in this contest will be the loss. He cannot get the win or cannot get the tie. Well, let's see. They're going to send Dagner to the penalty box. I'm not sure quite why. Too many men on the ice, Kurt. Okay. All right, bench. Dagner. And that comes at the 13.01 mark. Finally ends the Americans' power play and will give the Blazers one a brief one. As the puck is shot back toward the net, Kolzig taking it from Kraus. That looks dangerous, but it's probably not as dangerous as it looks. Sandwith out along the wall, fires it ahead to Rennie. Rennie over skates, picked up by the Blazers, and they're back to full strength as uh, Harrison comes on. Puck shot in beside the net, Kraus back for it. That was uh, Harrison serving the penalty. Now Trevor Sim with it, right side. Sim looks in from the right circle to Duval, down low beside the net, back to Sim. Blazers on the power play. Puck shot along the wall, goes to uh, Sim, back up front, now Sador. Sador, a blast! Puck redirected out front. Sim has it at the right hash mark. Sim with it, backhand pass to Duval. Duval fires it in, poked away a chance. Tied up by Kolzig and Nib. Now fired the length of the ice. Mason comes out, slaps it right back up the wall, left to Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer brings it in. Nib pokes it away from him. Sim is back for it, slaps it cross ice. Blazers with it. They shoot it ahead now to Duval at the blue line. Murray Duval pulls up, shoots. Colson makes a save. Six save. Puck chopped up. Goes over the net. Goes into the left corner. Picked up by Sandwith. Sandy brings it up the wall. Fires across ice. 
into the blazer zone. Lindsay races in on top of Mason. Mason shoots it right back in his face, and the puck comes up along the wall. Picked up by McNutt. Steve McNutt wheels, lays it off to Jakes. Jakes cross ice left to Dirksen. Dirksen drives it right back. Oh, Lindsay break by Lindsay. Lindsay shoots. Yes. Not for the wide side. Wouldn't quite make it go. Lindsay had an opportunity there and just missed the pipe. Puck goes out to the right side. Middlestat brings it up for the Blazers. Middlestat being looked over by Dirksen. Puck goes into the corner. Out to Duval. Duval has it chopped at. Americans almost with another breakaway. This time they do. McNutt, no. Cut down by the Blazers. Huber. McNutt ahead to Lindsay. Lindsay foot race, but it's one on two this time. With uh, under five minutes to go, Lindsay just melts Middlestat. And the puck comes back up. Blazers. Everybody's at full strength. Sador has it poked back away. Jumped on by Calvin Nibs. Nibs head man to Rennie. Rennie losing it there to Huber. Huber cross ice pass. Or Barry rather. Cross ice pass. Huber wipes out. Jake slaps it into the Kamloops zone. Jake's tied up by Sador. Mason around behind the net. Slaps it around the middle stat. Plays it up the wall. Cut off the left point by Shurstenka. Fired in but wide to the net. Into the right corner. Sador bang. Picked up by Rennie. Nibs. Oh, Nibs just at the edge of the circle. What happened right there, Kirk, is that Calvin Nib down almost on the goal line, was trying to center it out front. As it came out to the slot, it bounced off the skate of a Kamloops Blazer player redirected into the net, and it counts as a goal. The Americans extend the lead to six goals, a full strength goal, and the Americans lead now 7 to 1. 425 to play, second period. What a period for the Americans. Six goals against the number one team. Goal! Scored by number 22, Calvin Nib. His sixth of the year. The assist to number 17. Cruz point blank, two calls it save. Puck comes off the wall, back to center ice. Now McGowan turns, three on two, breaking in. Up front. Shot by Cruz, Kolsik saves, Kolsik saves again. Dives on the puck and the Americans have it. They try to slam it out as Levin. Now it's picked up by McGowan. Shot across the crease into the left corner, Boyer. Boyer has it knocked down. American player is down in the slot, puck shot. Kolsik passed it away, flew right beside the net. Picked up by Levin. Levin brings it up for the Americans. Levin to Reeves. Puck. Now picked up by Scott Farrell and driven into the Kamloops zone. Jeff Kane's tri City Blazers up the left wing. Cruz goes after the puck, tied up by the linesman. Cruz with the puck. Gets hit along the wall by Levens. Now Niedermeyer jumps in. Levens. Puck slot back out. Levens has it. Levens head man to Rennie. Rennie may have a breakaway. Rennie right side. Drive! Shot for the wide side. Just missed. Loring has it in the corner. Loring gets pasted. Puck's tied up along the board. And they'll freeze it right there, mainly to protect the linesman, who was right dead in the middle of that little scrum. Was there an assist on Nibs' goal? There was. I didn't get it. Steve Rennie. Nibs from Rennie, and you hear the crowd. Ole Kolzig is just playing 11 feet tall tonight. Certainly is. He's only allowed two goals in two home contests, the last two consecutive home games he's played in. And that's for four goals. Good goal to anybody. Sandwich over. shoots covered up by Mason. And now the lumber put to uh, Rennie as he takes a big butt in from Sador. Rennie did a little pirouette there. He's all right. But uh, Daryl Sador really put one to him. Dale Mason between the pipes for the Blazers. Face off, chopped off the wall. The Americans with it, Nibs. Nibs and McNutt dig for the puck, tied up in the left corner. Now McNutt goes after it. Nibs trying to kick it to him and can't. Now it comes to McNutt. McNutt tied up, tries to get it back to Nibs, can't. Mason out of uh, Edmonton, played Phantom last year. Puck laid off to Sador as Nibs gets hammered. Now McNutt picks it up. McNutt has a breakaway. McNutt shoots, but he shoots it right over the net. Puck comes up along the walls. They had it tied up. Now the Blazers bring it back. It's two on three. Stolen again by McNutt. Rennie with it. Rennie leaves it. And it's picked up there by Harrison. Harrison goes in, shoots. Kolzig takes it off the glove. Out to a Sandwich. Puck tied up along the wall now. As Duval takes a big hit. Puck comes up to Kraus up front. Kraus airs it back to center ice. And the Americans change shifts. 
On for the Americans. Jakes. Sim with the puck. Feeds it right side for Huber. Lost it. Back into neutral ice. Picked up by Billy Lindsay. Lindsay goes in. Drops it back for Sackick. Sackick wheels in. Sackick for Degner, but Jakes can't get the shot away. Now back to Sackick. Sackick out front. Jakes turns around. Pass! And it's cut off there by Malcock. Malcock brings it up. Cross ice left for Gansfeather. Stolen away. There's Jakes with it. Jakes, a drive, and it hits a stick. Boy, that one uh, got Todd Harris's attention. And the uh, Harris will drop the puck. It came off his stick and really rattled his game. It went straight upstairs, and I'm uh, not sure if it caught him up right underneath the chin or not, but he did. He was able to hold it. And he's going back to the trainer, and he's going to sit down for a couple minutes and try to catch his breath. Minute 44 remaining. In the second period, the Americans leading seven to one. A six goal outburst. That uh, penalty to uh, Malcock was the expensive penalty. The Americans light the lamp four times during that, no, three times during that penalty. On the face off, a quick shot, but it's deflected into the corner. Picked up by the Americans, face off in the Kamloop zone. Right corner now, Blazers trying to get it out. Nibs and Rennie jump on it. Rennie fires it down low for Nibs. Now Degner with it, or McNutt with it, rather. McNutt goes down low to Rennie. Rennie along the wall, shovels it back to Nibs. Nibs in the right corner. Calvin Nibs back to McNutt, back up front for Jakes. Jakes cross ice left. Rennie races into the corner with Middlestad. Bang, Rennie gets tied up there, or check it by Niederbeyer. Now Rennie, or Nibs rather, with the puck, tries to steer it along the wall. Niedermeyer cuts it off his stick. Tries to backhand it out into neutral ice. Can't need him with it. Need him in behind the net. Being worked over by Rennie. One minute to play. Need him wheels. Brings it up. Need him in a headlong rush. Need him to the right side. Shoots and it goes over the net. Comes down beside the net. Poked out along the wall. Left of the net. Rennie drops it back. Jake spans on it. Now fired off the wall. Gets by everybody. Back into the Kamloops zone. Backboard is Sador. Doesn't have enough legs for icing. Sador will wheel. Half a minute to play. Cruz with it. Poked away from him. Degner offside. Oh, and Lindsay with a breakaway. What a play by Degner to Billy Lindsay. Terry Degner trying to pinch the corner down there, and he did a great job as he kept the puck right on the line. According to the linesman, it popped right over the line, and there was Billy Lindsay accepting the pass from Degner. And yes, Billy Lindsay had a straight shot in on Dale Mason. And they called him for an offside. Sackick, Quincy, and Degner on the faceoff. Puck shot to the right side, Sador. Sador with it. Boy, Mason's not a very big guy. Puck out to neutralize. Sure, Stenka whacks at it, loses it to Murray Duval. Knocked away by Degner, but Trevor Sim there for the Blazers. Cross ice right, Sador. Sador takes it to the blue line. Sador wheels in, gets around. Farrell pucks loose in the crease, and Colzik covers it up. Sim there, but there are three Americans around him. And Sim and Duval just can't get it done. Coming up in the second intermission, my guest will be Marty Knack, newsroom uh, staff member from the Edmonton Journal. He's in town tonight doing a story on uh, the Tri-Cities Coliseum. Also will be up in Spokane tomorrow night. He's traveling with the Kamloops Blazer crew, and he'll be my guest. And we will talk a little bit about things happening up in Edmonton. Face-off, right circle, Bill Huber on the face-off against McNutt. Buck is down. Chopped loose in the right circle. Shot, Colzik save! And Dirk's in there for the rebound. Back out to Sador. Four seconds, Sador slides it into the right corner. Huber there, tries to center, can't, time runs out. Great defensive play by the Americans as McNutt and Rennie and Nib have just been all over the place and Ole Colzik just playing super. And the crowd is on their feet here at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. Well, the Americans with a six-goal outburst in the second period make it 7-1 to one at the end of two. Tony will be back right after this. A master of the sweet science versus the hands of stone. Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran are ready to rumble one more time. Duran won the brawl in Montreal. Then Sugar crushed the hands of stone. December 7th, Top Rank presents Leonard Duran 3. To order this pay-per-view event, call your cable system.
ready for the third period face-off. And this third period face-off being sponsored by Mets Marina, serving the region's boating needs for over 36 years on Clover Island in Lake Wallula, Denaway. 7-1, Tri-Cities leading the Kamloops Blazers on the face-off. It'll be Degner against Brian Shan. Chance, a 19-year-old out of Edmonton, 5'9", 175 pounds. Degner out of uh, St. Albert. Stands uh, 5'10", 181 pounds, 18-year-old in his rookie year. Face off, won by the Americans. Dirksen up the left wing board. Feathers it into the Kamloops zone. Kamloops with Mason still between the pipes for the Blazers. Duval fires it in around behind the Kamloops net. It's cut off by Dirksen. Whoop, gets by Dirksen, and Degner has to run it down at center ice to Jakes along the wall. Knocked down by Lindsay. Lindsay turns at center ice. Both teams at full strength. The Americans breaking into the Kamloops zone. Kicked away by Sidor. Sidor fires it into the Tri-City zone. Back for it is Jakes. Kolzik leaves it for Steve Jakes. Jakes fires it off the wall. Length of the ice, but it's on goal, and Mason will have to play it. Mason leaves it beside the net for Daryl Sidor. Sidor with the puck beside the net. Cross ice left. Goes to Shantz. Chance up along the wall, cut off there, and Krause has it. Krause fires it left to Terran Sandwith. Sandwith goes up left to Loring, to Degner. Chopped away and up into the crowd. Kirk, you need one of those nets, you know? I do. I'm going to start reaching out there and grabbing them. That little Harry Carey type stuff. He used to do that at the <laughs> Chicago White Sox when I was younger and I was back there. Remember him sitting out there with the net, trying to reach those foul balls. Shots on goal. I did not give shots on goal in the intermission there. There were 17 apiece by both clubs, and Kamloops leads after two periods in that department, 27 to 25. But they trail 7 to 1 on the scoreboard. And the faceoff will come just outside the Kamloops blue line. McNutt. And Barry on the faceoff. And McNutt wins it. Nibs fires it back into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig will leave it. Behind the net for Jakes. Ole Kolzig hot tonight for the Americans. Puck ahead to Rennie. Rennie cross ice left. Nibs. Nibs to McNutt. McNutt shovels it in right in the net. McNutt got turned around at the blue line. Nibs over skates it right in the slot. Puck played off the wall. Kept in play by McNutt. Back into the Kamloops zone. Niedermeyer popped by by uh, Nibs as he comes around behind the net. Cross ice pass right to Needham. Picked off and he, his stick by Barry. Barry drives it in beside the net. Goes over the net. And Jakes has it. Fires it back to center ice. It'll be icing. No, it won't. It's on goal. Mason has to play it. Mason brings it back out to center ice. Cut off by Farrell. Farrell shoots it back in and Needham knocks it down. Picked up by McNutt. McNutt wheels. Reeves is on for the Americans with Loring. McNutt right straight up the middle now. McNutt takes it in, takes a pretty good hit. Puck goes into the corner. And we got a whistle as the puck goes into the Kamloops zone. Got an offside penalty, it looks like. And they'll bring it back outside the zone. Got some scores, Kirk, around the league tonight. A final in, in overtime. Medicine has to beat Swift Current 6-5. The Broncos are on a major slide. I believe Kirk got his six in a row they have now lost. Second period, Moose Jaw four, Prince Albert one. First period score, Spokane one, Seattle nothing. And a second period score, Lethbridge six, Victoria one. Esselman in now with Harrison and uh, Buchanan. That's kind of a young line for the Blazers. Puck fired into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig plays it all the way around behind the net, out along the wall to Loring. Driven away from Loring by Sidor, around behind the net again. Picked up there by Harris. Todd Harris fires it back into the Tri-City zone behind the net. Up along the wall, cut down by Sidor. Sidor, top of the slot, a shot. Hits Levens in the foot, right side shot. Block, Kolzig, pucks loose. Are they going to count it? Yes. yes, they are. In a scramble as Kolzig went down, and Kamloops gets the score to make it 7-2. And that one comes at the 220 mark. And we'll have to wait for the official on that, but Ryan Harrison may have picked up, or Trevor Buchanan, one of those two, because they were down right around the front of the net as it was bouncing around. Only come up with a big save right there. A big save, but the rebound was just unable to keep inside its pads, and it sported back out, and a couple of Blazers were there to poke at it. We'll wait for the official in just a moment. Face off, Degner and Brian Shantz, won by Shantz. Shot into the Tri-City zone by Bonner. Knocked right back out by the Americans. Back for the puck goes Middlestat. Middlestat with it in his own zone. Fires it up along the wall to Duval. Duval, cross ice right for Sim. Buchanan gets the goal. Puck 
Buck shot in beside the American's net. Kolzik lets it go by. Duval shoots it in behind the net now, and it comes out along the wall to Sackick. Sackick getting it ahead to Degner. Two on two. Degner cross ice Lindsay. Here comes Lindsay off the wall. Pulls up, goes left, cross, shoots! Kicked away by Mason. About 10 feet away, and Mason just able to kick it away. Lindsay dumped in the corner by Duval. Duval trying to get away from Lindsay. Takes it off the wall. Cross ice pass for Sim. Dirksen ties up Trevor Sim. Dirksen and Sim kicks the puck away, goes to Sackick. Sackick cross ice, Degner. Back to Lindsay. Lindsay just overskated the pass. Now Lindsay's dumped. Chance brings it up, but he loses it. Sackick with it. Feathers it into the Kamloop zone, dropped by Mason, and we have an offside against the Americans as Mason touched the puck for the offside goal. The assists on Buchanan's goal go to Barry and Daryl Sador. Glenn Barry picking up his 79th point of the season. He's been a busy young man. Two Barnes is only nine points behind him. Barry, second goal. Yes, Stu could use a little ice time tonight. Puck back to, into the Kamloops zone. Sidar brings it up. Sidar has it poke checked away. Picked up again there by Huber. Huber up the right wing boards. Huber lays it off to Needham. Shoots it into the Tri-City zone. Jake's there to break it up. Headman pass for McNutt is on goal. McNutt can't handle a pass, and Mason will have to cover it up. He had no pass, no options as McNutt came crashing in on top of him. And that was a great play by Steve McNutt as he went straight down in on Mason. He split the defense of Todd Harris and Daryl Sador, and that just shows you the hustle that Rennie and Nibs and McNutt have done on that line tonight. Incredible. Those three guys have really played a whale of a game. Seven to two. Tri-Cities leading the Kamloops Blazers. Face off left circle. <laughs> Levens, Reeves, and Bowen. Sandwith and Kraus at the point. Puck comes up to Reeves. Reeves, top of the circle. He loses it out front. Goes to Sandwith across the blue line. Sandy dumps it back in, and the Blazers will bring it out. Left side, Todd Harris up the left wing board. Headman pass left to Cruz. Cruz back into the slot. McGowan is shot, and he's taken off by Sandwith. Great defensive play. Here come the Americans, three on three. Levens drags it into the slot, and we get a whistle offside Tri-Cities as Bowen raced in ahead of the play. 7-2, Tri-Cities leading Kamloops, and the Americans have been without Stu Barnes since the 6.02 mark of the first period. That's 6.02 into the first period, and uh, they've been without Spenrath since about midway in the first period. So the Americans doing it with everybody else playing 110% tonight. Face off, one by the Blazers. Bonner goes left side to uh, Niedermeyer. He gets dumped by Lindsay. Puck goes into the right corner. Blazers try to center. Picked up there by Buchanan. He wheels, fires it into the slot. Dagner breaks up the pass. Boy, they had a man. Harrison right on the doorstep. Puck out to center ice. Picked up now by Sackick. Sackick up the right side. Sackick across the blue line. Leaves it for Lindsay as Sackick is all down. Penalty coming. Lindsay back behind the net. Dagner out to Sackick. Sackick in the right point, and the Blazers steal the puck away. Cross-checking will be the call. And the Blazers will be sending somebody to the penalty box at the 4.42 mark. And we're looking at Scott Niedermeyer. He'll be taken off, going down. And that'll give the Americans power play number eight. 15-18. You know, Niedermeyer last year played uh, with uh, in the Bantam at Cranbrook. You know who coached him last year? Nope. Al Patterson's brother. Really? Colin. Face off, won by the Blazers. They dump it in. Now it's going to be driven out by Sador. Length of the ice, Kolzig will play it as it comes behind the net. Dirksen there. Americans really don't want to see any icing calls if they can help it. Buck back behind the net. Dirksen will start to break out. Dirksen steps out in front of the net. Brings it up. Cross ice pass right to Sackick. Sackick, head man for uh, Reeves. Steered into the corner for Levens. Levens with it. Reeves over skates. Levy gets it back. Back up front, Dirksen. Power play, Tri-Cities. Dirksen's cross ice pass. Tended for Sackick. Cut off there by Harris. Harris brings it up. Fires it back into the Tri-City zone. Jakes will wheel in behind the net. Chance all over him. Puck comes out to Scott Levens. 
Levens brings it up for the Americans. Power play, Tri-Cities. Levens with it, blue line. Levy goes to the right, right point. Fires a pass, cross ice left to Dirksen. Dirksen back to Levens. Levens in the slot. A shot, scores! Levens to Sackick. Sackick buried it. And the Americans with another power play marker. That is their fifth of the night. Devin Dirksen wheeling around and finds Scotty Levens heading straight down the slot. Nice pass over to Levens. Levens goes in, gets by one Camloo Blazer, goes right around. The puck slides right underneath the stick over to Brian Sackick, and Sackick puts it right in the net. The American power play goal. They now lead eight to two. It'll be Harrison and Degner on the faceoff. Sackick getting the goal. Dirksen getting an assist for the Americans. Tri-Cities leading 8-2. A power play goal. Shostenka bringing it up the right wing boards. Shostenka cuts to the middle. Fights off one man. Shoots a pass ahead to Degner. Degner feeds it right. Intended for Lindsay. Can't get it as the Blazers knock it down. Now back forward is Sackick. Sackick takes a big hit. Shostenka there. Puck knocked away. Comes off the wall. Picked up by Bonner. He fires it into the Tri-City zone. Kolzik back behind the net. For Shurstenka. Shurstenka cross ice right. Out to Sackick. Sackick up along the wall. Sackick along the right wing. Into the right point. Sackick up to uh, Farrell. Farrell shot. Hit the pipe. Puck's loose. And Lindsay goes in behind it. No score as Mason falls on the puck. That one hit the pipe and bounced back out. 13.37 to go in the period. 8-2, Tri-Cities leading the Kamloops Blazers. And a big save for Mace, actually made by the pipe on that one. Exactly. Scotty Farrell just brought in just a couple hours before the contest even started. And he comes in and takes a pass from Sackick, and he lets one fly. It gets by Mason, but it hits the post, the right post, and bounces straight out. And actually, Mason was able to cover it up. Face off right circle, Levens wins the draw, puck into the slot. Knock back out to center ice, Sandwith will drive it right back in. Americans clear the zone and jump in, but Sidor there to clear it out left to Cruz. Cruz stolen away by Reeves. Reeves back to center ice, Sidor picks it up, long distance shot. Gloved by Kolzig, Kolzig leaves it behind the net now for Sandwith. Sandy plays it out around, but Cruz cuts it off. Knocked off the wall by the Americans, nice play by Sandwith. And Reeves as Bowen. Fires it into the right of the net. Comes out off the wall right to McGowan. Levens there to try to steal it away. Here comes McGowan again to the blue line. Cut down by Reeves. Reeves wheels. Has the puck. Chops it off left side to Levens. Levens with it. Levens takes a big hit. Puck picked up there by Boyer. Boyer drops it back to Harris. Harris bringing it up for the Blazers. Harris long distance. Drives it in beside the net. Comes out into the corner. As uh, Levens tries to work to get a stick loose from Cruz. Puck shot the length of the ice back into the Kamloops zone. It'll be icing when uh, it's touched by Bonner with icing the call. 8-2 Tri-Cities back right after this. The end of an era. After 36 years, new era furniture is quitting business forever. Save 30 to 70% on three floors of furniture. Save on dining room sets, bedroom sets, recliners, desks, entertainment centers, and more. Absolutely everything on every floor must go. It's the end of an era, but the beginning of the greatest furniture sale in three decades. Save 30 to 70% right now. Financing available, Visa and MasterCards welcome. New era furniture, Clark Street, downtown Pasco. Face off, won by the Tri-City Americans, fired up along the wall, knocked down by Bonner. Bonner shoots it into the Tri-City zone, cut down by Nibs. Nibs has it chopped away from him, tries to play it ahead to McDonald along the wall. Out into the slot, and Dirksen's there, fires it off the wall, back out to center ice. Niedermeyer with it, back for the Blazers. Stolen away from him by Dirksen, shot back by the Blazers. Needham jumping all over Nibs. Nibs and Needham go into the corner hard, now Dirksen has it behind the net. Dirksen gets crunched! In the corner, puck comes out, penalty coming. It'll go, it'll be roughing against, I think it may go against Tri-Cities, let's see. I think Devin Dirksen's gonna get the whistle, two yep. minutes. It okay. will be Dirksen, he Can't really look, took a big hit. Yeah. And uh, But it was a clean hit and he retaliated. Eight minutes the time of the penalty. Blazers getting power play number four. So far, what is one of the league's most potent power plays has been offered tonight. 0 for 3. They have had their opportunities. 
Americans have killed off a double major. Foley's just playing fantastic between the pipes. Isn't he though? 12 minutes to play in a hockey game. Americans leading the Blazers 8 to 2. Sim on the faceoff against Rennie. Back out front now to Sidor. Sidor shot. Tolzik puts it over the glass and out of play. And a gentleman in the G section. He gets his uh, souvenir hockey puck and a, and a bruised hand besides. Yeah. I would not be uh, wanting to be catching those in my bare hand. That was a slap shot that was really going. Faceoff goes into the slot, a drive, and hit the pipe and went wide. Nibs chops at it, goes up along the wall, and Sador tries to keep it in play. Can't, has to go back to get it. Plays a pass back to Len Barry. Barry back in his own zone. He'll wheel. Cross ice right to Murray Duval. Duval fires it across left to Trevor Sim. Rennie's all over Sim. Sim dropping it back now to Barry. Barry will try it again. Up the right side to Sador. Minute 29 in the power play. Cross ice left, Trevor Sim. Sim with it. The Americans all over him. Right to Sador. Sador gets in ahead of Jakes, but loses the puck there to Nibs, who fires it back into the Kamloops zone. Now Rennie racing with Barry. Rennie in a foot race. Dogger may get to it. He does. Steve Rennie behind the net. Tried to stop it. Mason just made the save in time. And up along the wall now comes Brian Chance. He fires it into the Tri-City zone. But Kolzik will play it off the wall. Back out to the right point. Cut down by Barry. Barry a drive. Kolzik made the save with a blocker. Now Kolzik is knocked down. Kolzik is hammered. Kolzik is still down on the ice. And we're going to get a stoppage in play as Kolzik was really hit. And Jim Craig is out to attend to Ole Kolzig. Whether Loris didn't see it or what, I don't know. I followed the puck and I did not see what happened either directly. I saw Kolzig go down and he went down like he'd been poleaxed. Now the linesman talking with Loris, who sort of has that what happened look on his face. And uh, while they attend to Ole Kolzig, we'll take a timeout on this KTCR Americans hockey broadcast. The trees are trimmed and the table is ready. The spirits are running high. Time for Ennis' annual holiday home sale. Buying quality furnishings is easier than ever before with special holiday prices throughout the store. And great terms with no interest or no payments for 90 days. For your brightest Christmas ever, come to the store that discounts price, not quality, every day. Come to Ennis for those special gifts that mean so much. Ennis Christmas. When I went shopping for my first computer, I had lots to learn. It seemed like no one understood my problems. I was told I had to have this, or I didn't need that. Then I stopped by Kennewick Computer. They talked with me, not at me. They seemed to understand what I wanted to do and recommended the system that could meet my needs. I made the right decision shopping at Kennewick Computer. Boy, Tony, that doesn't look good. Ole Kolzik getting up very slowly. He's up to his knees. Obviously, still uh, pretty shaky down there. Looks like he got hit in the back, back of the, the neck. neck. Yeah. And he's... Well, I'm not sure. He's holding his neck. Well, he he's may have got... After he had uh, taken that shot and had blocked it, now I'm assuming this, I think one of the Camelot Blazers and one of the Tri-City Americans had gotten behind him and may have gotten the stick up behind him back, back in the neck there and may have gotten a, one well, of those big guys up. One of those burning type of um, sensations on the back of his back yep, there. That's called a stinger when they get you right. like that. Stinger. And uh, Kolzig is uh, still a little bit rocky. He's shaking it off. Rob Krause out talking with the referee. Honestly, everybody in the press box all the way up and down. Exactly. Saying, uh, I didn't see it, and I don't. Any, no one apparently saw it. Everybody uh, pretty much following the play. Golzig has said he wants to stay in the game. 10.54 to go. Face off left circle. Up front. It's a power play. Shot in beside the net. Kolzik protects the pipe as the Blazers try to center, and it's knocked away. Now Sandwich pokes it out front. Nibs has it. Nibs. Centers to Rennie. Here comes Rennie. One on one. Rennie beats his man. Rennie wheels around, brings it back up front to Kraus. Rennie chewing up a bunch of time. Now Kraus dumps it back. Kolzik will handle the puck, fires it up off the wall into the Kamloop zone. The Americans wanting Kolzik to uh, handle the puck again, and it looks like he's going to be okay. 
Face off right side, Esselmont can't handle it. Being chopped at by Shurstenka. Esselmont trying to center, finally does to Buchanan, but Jakes is there. Plays it around behind the net, Buchanan as uh, McNutt jumps on Buchanan. Eight seconds left in the power play. Out front, Niedermeyer, cross ice left. Gets by everybody, and there's a stick busted. One shot through the cross, uh, through the crease, comes up front, Niedermeyer. Dirksen's back on, he flips the puck away from Niedermeyer. Puck is loose, taken away by the Blazers. They go left. Colson comes out, poke checks it away. The big guy's okay. Here comes McNutt up the right wing board. McNutt with Lindsay. Headman pass for Lindsay. McNutt double team. He is crunched and taken down. Puck shot cross ice. The fans asking what happened to the whistle there. McGowan taken out by Sandwith. As McGowan gets pasted to the boards by Sandy. Now here comes Degner up along the wall to Lindsay. Lindsay brings it across to Kraus. Kraus, blue line. Kraus pulls up, fires it into the corner. It'll come around behind the net to Degner, cut off by Sidor. Sidor takes a big hit by McNutt, who says, paybacks are tough, aren't they? Now McGowan with it. McGowan, two on one. But McNutt racing to get back in. McGowan shoots, goes over the net. Colzig saves it. Holy Colzig! That one was falling in off the crossbar, and Colzig snapped it out of the air. Holy Colzig coming up very big on the shot there, and number eight, Cal McGowan, trying to tip it up. It goes up over the top of Ole's back, hits the crossbar, Kirk, and drops down right in front. Somebody, the hockey gods, are looking out for Ole Colzig tonight. What, what a guess. What a play. 9.03 to go in the third period. Americans leading 8-2 over the Kamloops Blazers. Face off right circle in the Tri-City zone. Out front, a shot taken by Duval, smothered by Sackick. Sim shovels it into the corner. De Dirksen has it, plays around behind the net. Jakes goes after it. Duval jumps on him, his buck comes loose. Now comes up to Sackick from Dagner. Back to Jakes behind the net. He'll play it up to Brian Sackick. Sack takes it off the wall. Still wearing that full shield. Shoots it out to center ice. Dagner steals it away. Duval on him, and the puck goes right to Trevor Sim. Sim hits the Jets up the left wing boards around Degner. But Dirksen puts him right against the wall. Sackick to Degner. Sackick right with the puck. Sackick tries to drop it back. Stolen away by the Blazers and crushing in there is Levins. And we get an offside call against the Americans as Levins came in and crunched Middlestat. Americans playing with tremendous emotion. Lots of intensity ever since that time that Stewie was taken off and Greg Fenrath was taken off way back in the first period. The Americans finished up that first period kind of, uh, well, not, not really hitting hard, but boy, they sure came out in the second period and they have continued it through into this third period. McNutt against Barry on the faceoff. McNutt wins it to Kraus. Kraus, blue line, steps across, a drive! Kicked away by Mason. Rebound comes out in the slot. Sador has it. For Kamloops, Sador up the right wing boards to Needham. Chopped at by Nibs. Nibs firing it back into his own zone. Kraus will have to race with Huber to get it. Kraus looking behind his back. It comes out along the point. Shot by Harris. The puck redirected as Colzig sprawls down in front of the net. Puck goes along the wall into the left corner now. Tied up Needham. Rennie. Also uh, McNutt's in there. McNutt digs it loose. McNutt brings the puck up. Goes to center ice for Rennie. Can't handle it. Back to Harris. Harris fires it in into the right corner. Comes out right to Needham. Sandwith jumps on Needham. And Nibs brings the puck back up along to the left point. Sador with it. Sador loses it right across the blue line. Back out is Harris. Todd Harris fires it in. Right of the net. Kolzik will stop it and leave it for Kraus. Now Kraus out along the wall to Nibs. Nibs bangs it off the scoreboard. Looks like that one hit somebody's stick and went right up against the scoreboard. Straight upstairs, hits the big blue scoreboard, bounces back down. Linesman call for a face-off, and that's what we'll have. You know, one thing, Kurt, that you haven't seen a whole bunch of is the number one line of Huber and Needham and Barry actually doing a whole bunch tonight. Nope, they've been shut down by uh, mainly by Rennie, Nibs, and McNutt. Puck shot into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig will leave it behind the net for Farrell. Farrell slaps it out along the wall. Jumping on it left is Harrison, but the Americans get it. Back to center ice. Knocked down by Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer leaves it for Harrison. Harrison turns. Knocked away from him by Reeves. Niedermeyer gets it back as Reeves is hauled down. Puck loose along the wall. Right side, Esselmott. He loses it. Shurstenka there. Bounces it back off the glass. Picked up by Bonner. Bonner takes it in. Levin's all over Bonner. 
Now Levens and uh, Farrell try to get the puck loose. Comes back out along the wall and back into the Kamloops zone. Back for it, Niedermeyer. Reeves lines him up. Puck comes up to Esselmont. He loses it. Turns, fires it cross ice. Cut down by Jakes. Jakes, headman pass for Loring. Puck goes right beside the net. Fired out of, in front of Loring by Mason, the goaltender. And it's picked up now by the Blazers. Cross ice right. Back out to center ice. Dirksen drives it back in. Whoops. Reeves offside. He, that one went right on his stick. I don't think Kyle could get out of the way. No, I was, I've been watching Kyle Reeves ever since that big check by Niedermeyer that put him down onto the ice. And Kyle has had the number 2-8 planted right on his forehead, and he's been looking for him. And both of them now go off and sit down, but uh, look for that one to come back. Paybacks are tough. 8-2, yeah. Tri-Cities leading the Kamloops Blazers. McGowan and Degner. Sador, cross ice left to Harris. Harris with it. Harris brings it up. Kicked away by Sackick. Now Sandwith plays it along the wall. Harris with it back in his own zone. Harris cross ice right for Boyer. Stolen away by Sackick. Sackick can drive. Ooh. Shot for the long side and just missed. Comes all the way around. Goes to Cruz. Cruz brings it up. Taken off the play by Kraus. Cruz wheels in beside the net. Kolzik pokes the puck away. Blazers chop at it. Pucks loose. Right circle. Picked up there by the Americans. Kraus. Kraus with Lindsay. Kraus just feathers it into the Kamloops zone. Lindsay races in with it on top of it, but Mason plays it along the wall. Tied up there. Blazers try to bring it out. They do. Headman pass. Goes to Boyer. Boyer one-on-one -on -one with Dirksen. Boyer shot over the net. Comes out along the wall again. Cut down there by Cruz. Cruz loses it. Out to center ice to Degner. Degner knocked off by Boyer, but Kolzik plays it right back to Devin Dirksen. Shift change. Blazers, and the Americans will break out. Dirksen up along the wall to Lindsay. Lindsay wheels in. Lindsay goes to the right, finds McNutt. McNutt can't get the shot away. McNutt taken into the corner hard there by Middlestat. And the Blazers. Duval pokes it back into the Tri-City zone. It'll be icing, but Dirksen's going to cut it off. Dirksen fires it around behind the net to Jakes. Jakes along the wall to Rennie. Back up front now. Cut down there by Malcox. By, uh, can't be Malcox. Got to be Shantz. Puck shot back out to center ice. Racing back forward is Middlestat. Five minutes to play in the hockey game. 8-2 Tri-Cities. Puck back to center ice. Farrell, the newest American. Farrell plays it off the wall to Nibs. Nice pass, goes right to Rennie. Rennie, left circle, turns around, shoots into the slot. But McNutt had broken too high. McNutt with it in the corner. McNutt, he gets crunched. Back in behind the net, Chance. Brian Chance steps out, he'll start the rush. Goes right to Trevor Sim. Sim catches Farrell in a back pedal and it stays with the puck. But Rennie and uh, Sim goes in offside as Rennie ties Farrell up. Farrell's backside gets in ahead of the puck. That's here good Jason to see. Bowen's parents here tonight being uh, welcomed by the tri City crowd. He's played a good game tonight. Yes, he has. Jason Bowen has been excellent. Big kid, too. Left winger, at size, a position where the Americans need it, definitely. Out of Courtney, B.C. They've also played him at the blue line. He was a uh, defenseman until last year. Up the left wing now to Loring. Loring! We are, wires it in behind the net, comes off the wall to Reeves. Reeves tries to shoot it back down low, but Harrison cuts it off. Harrison back to center ice, but it's poked away from Esselmont by the Americans. Chopped out by Buchanan and chopped out of play. Four minutes to play. Yes, yeah, a matter of fact, Jason played uh, at Notre Dame last the year. Notre Dame Hounds. Got a chance, in fact, when we were in Regina, he got a chance to see the Hounds play. And Unfortunately, he got to see him lose. Well, he also played with number five on Kamloops, Todd Harris. Face off at center ice, Levens against McGowan. McGowan wins the draw, back to Sador. Americans with a six goal lead. Puck shot in right of the net, Sandwith with it. Fires it off the wall. Blazers cut it down, keep it in play. McGowan turns, shoots, Kolzik makes the glove save. Drops it, puck goes into the corner, picked up by Levens. Levens out front, Sador. Sador looks at the long distance shot, won't take it. Dumps it into the corner, Kraus there for the Americans. Three and a half minutes to play. Kraus tried to headman Loring, couldn't. Shot taken. Cut down up front, backhand shot. Kolzik pokes at it and makes the save one more time with a stick. Another shot. 
Kolzig finally covers up, pins it to his pad, and spins around as the Blazers get a pretty good flurry there right at the end. Cal McGowan taking a shot about four or five feet right out in front. Notice the TV cameras haven't left tonight like they did the other night. I wonder why, Kirk. There must be something going on. <laughs> oh, they're afraid something will happen after they leave. That's right. God never wanted pictures to fly through the air anyway. <laughs> Face off, right circle, Tri-City Zone. Ryan Chance and Ryan Harrison or and uh, Degner on the faceoff. Chance wins it, turns, shoots, pucks loose in the right circle. Duval brings it back up front, Niedermeyer. Long distance drive, Kolzig pokes it away. Picked up by Trevor Sim. Sim with the left hash mark in the slot. Duval knocked away from Duval. Headman pass to Degner. Here comes Degner with Lindsay. Diggs tries to get it to Lindsay, can't. Shot back into the Tri-City zone. Dirksen's there, what? Band on it. Chance picked it up. Chance takes it to the corner. Chance in trouble with Dirksen all over him. Shot by Duval. Hits a stick, and it's out of play. So Murray makes a souvenir. Less than three minutes to play in the third period here at Tri-Cities Coliseum. The Americans are doing it to the Kamloops Blazers well, tonight. This will make a headlines all throughout Canada. As yep. The number one team has been beaten for the third time on the road this season. Still, Kamloops has yet to lose in Kamloops this season. But remember, the, the only other time these two teams have played, the Americans taking the Blazers to overtime, and Tri-Cities had the lead in the third period. McNutt and Harrison on the faceoff. Now Harrison will get the thumb. It's Harrison with Esselmont and Buchanan. McNutt has Rennie and Nibs. Faceoff goes to the point, stripped away by Rennie. Rennie may have a breakaway if he can outrun him. Rennie, nope, two guys all over him. Drop back pass to the blue line. McNutt with it. McNutt wheels in. Back up front now. Farrell a shot. Redirect. Oh! Rennie gets the score. And Farrell the assist. Steve Rennie from Scott Farrell. And I'll tell you where you're going to have to give an assist to is number 15, Steve McNutt. As he came across and saved that puck from going out of the zone, and he punched it back to Scotty Farrell. Scotty Farrell lines it up at the point, drills a shot down towards the slot. Steve Rennie puts the stick up about waist high. He blocks, knocks it down, dribbles right between the pass of Mason into the net. The Americans get their ninth goal. The score, Tri-Cities 9, Kamloops 2. Interestingly enough, the Blazers' power play has been shut down tonight completely. On the faceoff, the puck goes into the Tri-City zone. Kolzig plays it beside the net. Back up to the right point. 